Okay, so we're getting ready to go across the country with four cats in the car in our 2016 Buick Elantra. And I just wanted to do a little rundown for anybody if they ever had to do this. We've done this three or four times, so we're kind of old hat. These tents we got on Amazon, they do them for cat shows and it's really kind of neat. Uh, there's actually a separation wall in here if you wanted to split it in half. But in here will be one cat and well, there'll be one cat in two of them and two cats in another. And we can put water and uh, a kid, small kitty litter box and food, of course. Uh, normally, we only give them food when they when we stop because they get sick. But uh, so this is the, the situation. As you can see, I have one already going across the front. And inside every single one of these is puppy pads. And since it's going to take about four days, I got five layers in there. So if there's a mess, I could just pull out the puppy pad and the next one will be uh, ready to go. So it's kind of nice. They like it. They rest and sleep. After the first hour or so, I'll uh, give them their favorite pillows and blankets and stuff like that. But uh, the first initial thing, they get a little sick, car sick sometimes. So. And uh, of course, I don't have to take these out of the car at all whatsoever. They can just stay in here and I can service the cats when I stop at rest stops and all that stuff. Uh, being very careful, of course. Normally I'll have all the doors closed and all the cats safely tucked away. So these just lock up. So there's no cats running around the car. And this just slides in. It's probably gonna be a tighter fit. Nope. And they got little pockets out here for uh, a scooper or whatever you want to do some extra uh, pads and you can see I have a uh, three layers of pads underneath here I also have my Buick cover and then I have my extra uh, floor mats from the third row seat underneath but after this initial thing there is two more tops underneath so there's no chance of an accident going all the way through to the interior uh, this hole you might ask is for when they do cat shows and you wash your cat, you give your cat a bath, you put the hairdryer hose through here. So that's what that's for. But yeah, so that's the situation. We're getting ready to go cross country. Uh, I'm just setting up the car a little bit early. Uh, like I said, it's really, really convenient and nice. And I've done this three or four times. So if you get a chance and you need to do this, uh, Amazon, these uh, tents, uh, they were slightly cheaper. They've gone up a little bit, but uh, they used to be like $150. Now I think they're about 200 but the price fluctuates a lot. So you just got to put it on your watch list if you were going to do that. So, yeah, so we're heading from uh, New York City to uh, Arizona in a day or two. So I just wanted to get the car ready this way and finish up other business. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something from it. Uh, I'll also have another cat carrier a single cat carrier on my passenger seat to uh give the cats a little bit of a break i'll bring them up on the front seat this way i can pet them and stuff as i'm driving and they can see me and be closer to me but uh you, as you can see this is a nice mesh so the cats can talk to each other in between so they're not uh lonely and stuff so it works out really good it's a really nice system i'll put uh this little side area here you can see i already have paper towels i'll end up putting blankets there and uh, maybe stack the blankets a little bit higher than usual so that the sun doesn't come in and make it hot, even though we'll have air conditioning on the whole time. Uh, so, yeah, so that's it. We are uh, getting ready to go. Uh, I'll put a link to these in, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put a link down in uh, the comment section. So, all right, enjoy. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and share and subscribe.